Hey guys, it is Tuesday in Singapore and uh, today we plan on going to Sentosa but we are going to do that at like 3 or 4 because we have to wait for our cousin to arrive from school. Um, so right now we are going to like a park, local park uh, to just click some nice pretty pictures. It was just raining the entire morning and now it has stopped. So I think it's going to be pretty, you know, like a pretty weather. Okay, so the main plan of action for the day is going to Sentosa Island. So if you do not know what that is, it is basically an island in Singapore, like connected through a channel of water. And people usually go there for like a weekend trip because first of all, it has Universal Studios and it is also famous for its artificial beaches like luge, cable chair. So we're going to do all of that today and tomorrow we have Universal Studios. Some might be wondering this and you are right, you know, uh, when most people are visiting Sentosa and Universal Studios, they head out really early in the morning so they can spend like the entire day there and do whatever there is to offer. But we did not do that either of the times because first of all, guys, we were at home, okay? So getting everybody out to the house is another task. And because we also had cousins going to school, right? So we had to wait for them to come back. But we did like all that we could in the time span we had and we spent it to the fullest and you'll see it we are actually looking for this air conditioned indoor um, flower park something like that but this place is so huge and we can't really find it and everything's kind of uphill or like up or down the stairs i'm also wearing like flats like which are really flat so my stamina is like giving out I decided to replenish my energy, duh, with coke. And okay, so this whole ordeal was about looking for this place, which was air conditioned and was like a flower garden, I think. And we kept looking for it, even in the map, but it was just not there. And it's a tragic story, but after a while, we realized that it wasn't actually here. This flower garden was in the botanical garden. <laughs> I mean, I did not mind, okay? Look at this, it was gorgeous. So we quickly took an Amati to Harbour Front, which is the last station and is also connected to Vivo City, which is a mall. And the mall is like kind of totally connected to Sentosa Island and Universal Studios. I'll explain how, but before that, guys, we were hungry, okay? So we did what is best. Get McDonald's! Have I tried something new? No. I usually just get chicken nuggets, but today I'm going to try the Oolong Lychee Frappe. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. It was so refreshing. Like you could taste lychee, of course. You could also taste coffee, and there was crushed ice, which gave a really nice texture. But if you did not have diabetes, you're gonna get it. <laughs> okay, this is the outside of the mall, and you can literally see Sentosa Island written. And I googled if there were more ways than I know to get there. And of course, you can cycle, you can drive, you can take the bus. But the ways I know of was first of all the Sentosa Express, which takes you to Sentosa and Universal Studios. And I took it the next day to get to Universal studios then we have the cable car which is the funnest way we took this today and then they, i did not record it but there was a broadway which they made and you can walk to sentosa you got to be fully recharged to do that we weren't so of course we didn't do it so we were in line for the cable car ticket and my cousin finally made it and a random stranger gave her their hat which was so incredibly sweet it was pokemon themed and it was completely adorable the Pokemon thing makes sense now because these uh, cable cars are also Pokemon themed. We got down and had ice creams and this is where the real fun begins. We did karting y'all. So we wore our helmets, went down and they did not really teach us on anything. They just gave instructions on how the handle works. And I recorded, I tried my best to record, okay? But the thing was really, really fast and there are twists and turns. So yeah, it was not really safe to move my hand, okay? It started off pretty sweet y'all, okay? They did the checking and then it was going pretty slow. And then it just started going really fast. Maybe I was pulling on the handle a lot, but it was like one hell of a ride. Oh! Obviously, do not do 
well to the slightest bit of adrenaline rush the commentary the entire time oh my god but okay then we had to take the cable chair to get back to where we started doing the ride because obviously you know you have to get back but nobody does this ride just once people do it at least more than two times so like you have to get tickets accordingly Touching the phone so hard that I felt like my cover would break. I felt too exposed taking my phone out, but I could not miss out on the opportunity of recording this beautiful scenery. No, I'm not talking about ourselves, guys. I'm talking about the background. <laughs> So we took another cable car to get to the beach and I think if I'm correct then Sentosa has three beaches all three of them are artificial including this one I am sorry but my Indian roots are urging me to say this from inside where the hell are the people like why is this place so uncrowded I'm sorry I'm just not used to this Candid. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, we totally had it in mind that before heading back, we are going to do zip lining, y'all. It was so amazing. Like, they make you do it across the entire beach. But by the time we went to inquire, it was too late. It was going to shut down. And we had to walk all the way up there, you know, to do it. So we would never really be able to make it. But okay, I was sad, but I don't mind because the amount of fun we had on the beach, oh my God, I did not take out my phone because I was scared I'm going to wet, get it wet and like get sand all over it. But we made sand castles and we played in water. I got so wet by the end. We're in Vivo City right now, which is the mall right next to Sentosa. You can come here with the cable car. And we're in the food court right now. Mahira is having chicken wings. And we really tried to find the zip line or do the bungee jumping. But by the time we realized we could do any of that, all of it shut down. You know, it shuts down by like 7, I think. So we could not go. It was really difficult to find. Uh, so now we're having dinner. The food court has every single cuisine possible. So let's check out what I'll have. What I really really liked was that every place had it written like in front if their food was halal or not and uh, when you go to give back the plates or tray they had a separation for halal and non-halal plates which was pretty thoughtful. That is the dinner plus the end of the video you guys. I am so sorry like I just sent it to 11th grade so like editing, coping up with the class is a little difficult but see you guys very soon so till then bye.